Right? Shalom, shalom, shalom. I want to give all praise to start Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Peace and blessings to your brothers and your sisters in the new covenant. Yeah, this is, uh, I have another page called That's Why It's Being Chronicles. I don't give a damn. And, uh, there was something else. I think sex education. I got multiple pages. But anyway, man, this is not uh, edifying as far as when it comes to the gospel. This is more so to clear the air. Part two. And speaking for all the real brothers that have the golden spirit. Okay. You know, young millennials and late, I would say uh, old Gen Zers, like 97, 98. Because anybody after 2000, you just out the game. Um. And you damn boomers and Gen Xers, we, we're gonna roast you. We just everybody getting cooked, man, because it's too much confusion. So part two, yeah, skinny ass white women are not the standard of beauty in my eyes, and we never were. Okay, you I do means are Edomites. Okay, in San Antonio, Cali, Miami, whatever Houston, whatever bitch ass city city you in, y'all make everything awkward. Okay. Let me let me say this. When you take out the flavor, when you take out the humility, the love, the beauty of the Israelite woman, you know, how she how she's built. I mean, I'm talking about the ones in the suburbs. We're talking about beautiful chocolate doonies with the hoop earrings down to earth, cool and chill and sexy at the same goddamn time. OK. Real lionesses, when you when you take that away. Right. You take the Aaliyah rock the boat vibes away. You take the, you know, in the morning, Drake and uh, J. Cole vibes away. You take away the wetter twister or, or another round. Pretty Ricky. You take all these real Israelite sexual vibes away and you talking about this is the standard of beauty. And you black New World Order, Queen of Spades, weirdos online on Twitter, Lisa Ann, Violet Myers. Yeah, I'm naming names, bro. I don't give a fuck. You Freemason porn stars. All you weird ass Gentiles who you worship our penises behind closed doors. We didn't need we didn't need you to know we had eight plus inch penises or whatever. Or whatever size you have. We didn't need y'all to know that, okay? Y'all trying to, and then you religious people trying to put everything with fornication. It's so many damn boxes. Car just crew too much too many immature women it's a you know you women in san antonio you don't take care of yourself and a lot of you motherfuckers y'all feel entitled to a black male and you don't even understand the difference between hamites and israelites and all it is is a waste of time adultery fornication and like i said you can be the humblest coolest nicest edomite chick ever but eventually i'm gonna want to fuck and have some babies I'm not finna have sex with a woman that I'm not sexually attracted to. So now I'm cooking you damn black women who you talking about. Y'all obsessed with ass. Bro, first of all, all you have to do is have the sexy body but be virtuous. That's all you got to do. Y'all make it so fucking hard. The mind games, not texting back, not knowing what you want. Nobody got time for that shit. You old ass gen extras, you slave-minded black women who want to be white. All this other demonic slave-minded box crap. Y'all leftovers and roast beef, bro. Nobody want that, man. And you old ass Edomite bitches who fucked up the whole system, and you you're a cokehead Karen, bro. Nobody want that, man. Nobody want no Confederate flag, Donald Trump, beer head drinking heathen whore, bro. Y'all act like it's a bunch of Lisa Ann's and Kelsey Monroe's around this motherfucker, bro. Not even in Houston is, is it that many beautiful Edomite chicks, bro. So the fact that some brothers, right, depending on where they live, they have to walk outside and see this shit or they may they may be limited to what they have. You know what I'm saying? Like they shouldn't have to move cities and damn go to bars, go to the extreme just to find what they want, bro. But back to the point. Yeah. Uh, black men been loving big booties with a slim waist because we talking about brothers, not other motherfuckers this is not a uh, some weirdo shit this some this is um damn pretty ricky can i get a little closer about that we on some tropical shit we look at this stuff as art bro okay everything is not whoremongering and being a harlot because how i see it 
the daughters of Zion are, are peculiar. Like they they're built different. They have a a swag about themselves. The way they look, the way they talk, everything. So you add that with a virtuous spirit, we're straight. What you racist white bitches are doing, Asian, Latinas, etc. You think just because you have a big booty now, and I ain't talking about the brown Latinas. I'm talking about these Spaniard, Shakira, Edomite types, Selena Goldman's types. That work on those whoremonger black men, bro. Like, real brothers that's, that's going through the pain, going through the trenches. When you sit up there acting like I'm a damn animal, oh, get hypnotized by my big white ass, you nigger. Man, I don't, bro, you a heathen. Edomite. And the fact that all we were looking for was virtuous, thick chocolate beloveds. We just we just wanted our we just wanted our other halves, brothers like me. We didn't come this far for no damn plain Jane eating my chick, and 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 you know I'm gonna worship your phallus behind closed doors, but then I'm gonna call it a myth. No, it's either facts or whatever. That's why people hate real science and real math. People hate facts. All these, a lot of these Edomite skinny motherfuckers, man, you know, secretly fantasizing about you, but afraid to say something. Y'all making it awkward, bro. And what's crazy is a lot of them who don't even try to look sexy. Like a lot of motherfuckers just look like any goddamn thing and just expect you to know. And then, then, then y'all think meeting in the middle is doing us a favor. You're not doing us. You're not doing us a favor. By being nice and by being a decent human being. You're not doing shit a favor. You already got white Jesus. That's not in the Bible. Y'all put some damn nun shit in the Bible for you stupid ass Hispanics. Like just block, 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 block shit everywhere. Nobody wants this gothic beer head shit for you ugly motherfuckers in San Antonio. Nobody want that, bro. Y'all not athletic. Y'all want to y'all want us to forsake like a Alicia Baumgartner in virtuousness or a damn Sidney McLaughlin or some shit like that in virtuousness. Y'all want us to forsake that and forsake the Nicki Minaj, Rick Ross, you the boss type vibes for some rude ass heathen bitch. Bro, nobody want that. And let me make this clear. My Israelite black biological mother gave me the most love ever. I've had some of the coldest dark chocolate Israelite women with big booties give me submission without question bro so yes i'm downgrading and now you got these red pill dudes trying to put everything in a box oh it's because you're an athlete maybe because i'm a genuine guy maybe because i'm sexy to them that's not a that's not a damn diss but see y'all, y'all are trying to reverse everything and now all of a sudden when white girls or asians whoever got a fat ass now it's oh my god look at that we being new, our grandfa- grandmothers and mothers hated themselves, perming their damn hairs. That didn't even make any damn sense. Eating pork and all kinds of abominations, bro. Clearly seeing their brainwash and being bullheaded. No, we we been past that. I saw the play. Jada Stevens, Lisa Ann, I been saw y'all worshiping black penises back then. Then I knew something was up, bro. And that's y'all's way of trying to do it without getting killed or whatever the fuck. But that's how you notice all the truth, man. But this was never the standard of beauty. I love everything about a beautiful, delicate, sexy black woman who don't be on no bullshit. Like like an Ashanti vibe, a Megan Good type, bro. A Jillian Nice type that's laid back. Not Meg Thee Stallion, not Ice Spice, not Cardi B. None of that shit, bro. You street niggas, military motherfuckers, you weirdos, everybody in a damn box. Okay? But I gotta make that clear. Alright? Gotta make it clear. Y'all act like, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because y'all keep grouping us in with whoremongers. And now you got people with a Bible trying to make everything just stiff. Oh, she's beautiful. She's she's wicked. If she's skinny, she's virtuous. That's not in the Bible. None of that's in the Bible. Then it's going to be all you too strict and all this other stuff. Then y'all expect brothers to go through all that egregious pain and open up to you just to waste this goddamn time. Once I seen Danielle argue about body count, I knew that wasn't a wife. 
I've been told my whole life I was going to make a great husband. When I got to go outside every goddamn day and see trash, white trash, Spaniard trash, I, I don't pretend to be attracted to women, bro. And even, even on the carnal tip, I was already trying to be stable. And a lot of other brothers and sisters. You got Judah Macalites in no damn way. Fuck IGPK, IUIC, GMS. One West, period. And fuck you niggas. You know what? I'm not going to say that, bro. Because I don't want to offend little ones. But all you niggas that claim New Covenant, now you trying to put a box on that? Bro, get out the way, man. When you have a damn... Bitch ass Mexican scrag talking about her her dad in the cartel. She in a goddamn living room. Thailand fucking moaning and shit. Got an Ishmaelite. Damn Jake. That's what I'm saying, bro. Everybody wanna hide behind closed doors with this motherfucking shit. But y'all sitting up there sticking your goddamn nose up. Cause y'all were too weak and lazy. Not to go off into a tangent, but y'all were too weak and lazy to be upright, bro. But that's what I'm saying. Skinny ass. Skinny ass, ugly ass Mexican. Just trash as sports, bro. Just trash. Garbage. They don't have the same sensual energy like a like I said, the uh the Aaliyahs or a, a mature woman. Or then it's not like an LMA, you see what I'm saying? Something like that. They look at they'll look at that and just be stiff as hell. When it comes to the bedroom, it's about energy and aura, bro, and intimacy, privacy. And loyalty, man. Like, I don't, like, why is this deep to you motherfuckers? Why? Because y'all a bunch of followers, bro. Everybody afraid to be different. Now, K-Camp got to speak up because nobody want to say nothing. But back to the point, man. Back in the day, for you damn, for you, for the brown Latinas, when I see, like, a Selena Quintanilla type or, you know, a brown, brown, just mama seat the bro, that's on point. Some, you know what I'm saying, slim waist, big booty, right? Cool, big old hoops and shit. See, I never saw. I didn't. I didn't. I saw that a couple times in the suburbs. See, cause I'm. I'm. A, I'm a separate everything. I've seen these type of Latinas in the suburbs too, but they either love eating white man too much or they're like super brainwashed. Especially out there in Fort Bend, Sugar Land, Woodlands, whatever white ass suburb. Okay, it's like it's too much. It's too many worlds. It's like little big planet. High school musical motherfuckers everywhere. Then you got the damn Spaniard Camila Mendez types. Daddy's daddy's girl that's too damn stiff and too fucking... Too girly girl. Like, you got no type of seduction skills, bro. Like, come on, man. Being free from the world. Being free from indoctrinations, bro. And when, and here's the thing, too, about all of this. Because this all ties into my point. It was one girl named Lolita Marie, bro. It was another girl named Alejandro, Alejandra, uh, I forgot her last name, bro, but she was dark chocolate Latina, bro. I'm talking about look like Jayla Fox, but with straight teeth. The Popeye's girl, but with straight teeth, bro, like just amazing. Mm -hmm. And I've been saw this way back in middle school, elementary school, right? So you see the best of the best every day. I mean, it, it, it looks like a work of art on purpose. What real man, black Israelite male, want to forsake that? All you got to do is be a light. And if you're Howard Shai, teaches them how to walk into the light. You let the Lord do that. That's just to throw that out there. But that's just that's just my vision. That's that's just what I grew up on. So for y'all motherfuckers to make me go all the way backwards, got all these goddamn white bitches, breed black, uh, BBC is not a myth. We didn't need y'all to know that, bro. It's the fact that y'all like, are hiding it. And then, you know, being weird in person. And it's the fact that y'all have done so much damage as a race of people. And you think you're doing us a favor. And that was the most high thunder, bro. Like fornication, adultery, all this, bro, no. We, I want the real intense pleasure pleasure to the max the most sexual the most the best of everything that's just how that's just how israelites are it's like this it's like this weird vibration homosexual vibration going around the world where people are trying to like make you feel ashamed for see 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 that's this weird shit that's how people people think i'm making this shit up bro 
But yeah, like, bro, like, this weird vibration going around of uh, making people feel ashamed of wanting their partner. Each creature cleaves to its like. San Antonio is fucking garbage, bro. I shouldn't have to go all the way to a fucking bar just to meet a girl that's a damn seven or eight when I've seen that shit every day. And I'm a gentle, nice guy. And most of you motherfuckers not even from... What would they want? Bro, I don't even... That's that bullshit, bro. Oh, and also, y'all are y'all are y'all don't know the most high through his son. Y'all, y'all, y'all disrespectful as hell when it comes to heritage, not religion, religio. See what I'm saying? Like, we, this, like, bro, what are we doing here? It used to be like the lovey dovey, ride or die type, you know, inspire me type. See what I'm saying? I, bro, I grew up on that. I didn't grow up on no damn precious mama bullshit. No Jody bullshit. No can't you soccer moms, you Karens. All you motherfuckers, bro. Y'all are hypocrites, bro. A lot of y'all were getting y'all back blown out in college. And when you hear that shit in college, bro, and it's next to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Did y'all go to y'all jobs acting like y'all just No, bruh. That is frustrating as a as a godly man, bro. When you got to deal with those burnings on, on the inside. But then you go outside and you don't see shit. And you niggas want to play reverse psychology. You just don't want to settle for that. I'm finna... Bro, stability. I cussed my parents out about that shit, man. Don't disrespect me by no damn condoms. By no eating my bitches. And all this other shit. A lot of y'all hate the Israelite woman. Because she never gave you no love. It's too many damn blocks. So if I got to beat my meat all the goddamn time without watching porn, then I'm going to have to do that shit. But I'm not just touching any goddamn thing. Fuck that shit, bro. Because when when the rubber meets the road, she's going to have to be sexually attractive and vice versa. I don't give a damn about your envy, your envy and jealousy. How is it fair that I got to go through all this shit because of other people? I got to get my heart broken by miracle. All this other bullshit. Oh, I never gave a fuck about you. I never loved you. The other half of women just want to fuck me and shit. It's like, bro, I never wanted this shit. I don't care how rare it is. Like, you people really do not understand K-Camp. K-Camp is here physically. I'm not here spiritually or mentally. Kiss my brown ass. Immature ass women, y'all too, especially the Edomites, bro. I mean, there's nothing appropriate. And then you got, then you got, then you got, then you got the overly, I stuttered. Then you got the overly slutty ones, right, bro? We not, I'm not looking for no, none of that, bro. Right? Let me, let me show y'all something. Even this wicked ass porn star Havana Ginger, she got her shit done. Even she looks better than, better than that. Like, come on, bro. Something like this, you tame, you tame something like that, and you ravish her. That that's the complete ingredients, right? And I'm talking about if you put this in a virtuous context, bro. With it, with your own mean cottage, or like if I if I had to get a hotel, just for some type of privacy, bro. Like, but it's just college kids fucking next to you, motherfuckers bragging about adultery and shit. Now you got to settle for some eating my, no, no, and motherfucking no, bro. All right, this is worldly, not to entice people, but something cool like that, bruh. But don't be fucking telling me that y'all get to call black women primitive beast and, oh, they have larger genitalia at the, at the same time as the stereotype, but at the same time, and uh, black women, it's like, bro, listen, 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 listen. Adipose tissue. This is why people hate science, bro. Okay. And this is why I hate because... I'm around a bunch of mayo, okay? When it comes to seduction, when it comes to just, you know, being inspired by looking at them, they don't have the same pop. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And I promise you, if it was the other way around, I would say the same exact thing. I'm not biased over here, okay? <clears throat> but one thing about it, I'm not going to be looking over my shoulder for racist uh, Luis or Jose down the goddamn street. I'm not going to look, look over my shoulder for damn Brad and Bobby. For you redneck bitches. And don't think I'm not with the shits. I will beat y'all monkey asses, bro. I got them things. For you violent ass niggas, man. And I hope the whole world see this. Managers, whoever. Because it, it just has to be said, man.
Nobody went through the pain and the narrow road for some eat on my whore, Kelsey Monroe. But y'all gonna do what y'all gonna do. Let the blind lead the blind. Violet Myers, Alexis Breeze, aka Elizabeth Santiago. And for all you civilians who's too, you know, immature to think about it, that's y'all fault. But this was never the standard of beauty. So all I'm saying is give real Israelite women their credit so I can enjoy how the most high made them. But stop with stop with this old built. You know what? You know what? I can't stop it individually. But I'm gonna say it anyway. This pog, fat ass white girl, and, and for you old ass Gen Xers, oh, it, it, everything is porn. Everything is, you know, you guys are just hypersexualized. And we, first of all, y'all look like Funyuns in damn high school. Like, how long did it take y'all to develop, bro? Like, let's, let's use some common sense, man. Y'all want to deprive brothers of, of enjoying righteous doonies. See what I'm saying? Could have been had three or four lionesses, man. And right in Exodus, Exodus 21 and 10, bro. And I don't force nothing on people. Could have been had it. But it's all this. I'm afraid to be different. And that same thing with the women, bro. That's why I didn't. I'm, I, I judge you by your actions, man. No integrity. Not afraid to just kind of stand out, man. But this was not the standard of beauty. So when I'm when I'm making these these intimate videos and all that, don't don't come over here, bro. And I just gotta make that be known because you old white bitches, bro. A lot of y'all still filled with the spirit of Satan. I'm not stupid. But it's a trick on y'all because you're addicted to our fallacies, micro chimerism. I saw the play a long time ago, bro. Cutting off our penises and slavery, all this hide it at the history books. And let's just label it. No, motherfucker. People need to know the goddamn truth. Y'all think nothing gonna happen to y'all. That's why y'all doing it. So yeah, some leftover Edomite bitches just to go to hell? I don't think so. We we don't deserve that. I'm inspired by, you know, greatness. Not I'm not sharing this with my father, sharing this with no family. No. Privacy, intimacy, legacy. Vibes, truth, not tradition, and let's make something up. Not everybody's the damn same. Nope. No. You can't even, it's like even in this bitch ass beer city, and you are just, y'all just lame, bro. Like, no, nobody want to be a hard leg all the time, bro. That's not, that's not even good for your mental health. When that, when that righteous lioness is moaning, and she's getting pleasure. That's an amazing thing. But I'm tired of going on Instagram. Then is is she somebody wife? Oh, is she single? Oh, is it hidden agenda? Side niggas. All this retarded shit. Sneaky links. That's how I know you people don't know what love is, bro. And all this pump and dump and settle down. That's not in the scriptures. Pro polygyny. Now y'all arguing about that. But see how everything just is just confusion. K Camp is not with you retarded ass people. And I'm talking to all 8 billion of you motherfuckers, bro. I'm tired of this shit. All I wanted was my doonies and stability. All I wanted was my doonies and stability. Shawty. Okay. A woman who loved me for me and who's actually for me. That's, that's the only thing I wanted. But she on point, though. We're gonna be we're gonna be natural. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna roast. Do all that shit. But see how these eating my chicks back to the point. When you put them in front of everybody, when you motherfucking try to think you're uh, uh, serving us justice while still oppressing the Israelites, while still teaching lies in school, while still not, you know what I'm saying? I I can't I can't deal with it. Again, y'all act like it's a bunch of big booty fine ass white girls, and then again. I'm not denying that other races can be sexually attractive. I'm just saying on average, that's not the case. And I'm not going to let y'all live thinking that, you know, you're, you're finna, y'all are going to, y'all are going to get away with it. It's ridiculous, man. And I know some of y'all feelings hurt. I know some of y'all offended. I don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. 
Edomites done took over Africa. These niggas, these niggas done took over Asia, took over America, to whitewash every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? And thinking they doing something. Y'all, these motherfuckers still talking about uh, uh, stalking people's pages and shit. Like, immature little girl shit I never got into. So, yes, man. Being sexually frustrated can be a burden if you're trying to walk the narrow, bro. Because you're designed to have a partner. You're designed to have one flesh. Chocolate doonies. But yeah, bro. Like, and don't give me again. Don't give me that. Oh, all women, all women, all women beautiful. Because when we were saying that, it was a problem. But come on, man. Everybody just got to put the ingredients together, bro. Why do I have my wallet? But you see that? I don't see that where I'm at currently. So get y'all ass off of Twitter talking about white men only call me fat and uh. uh Come on, man. And all athletes do not like white bitches, bro. No disrespect, but all di disrespect at the same time, bro. Come on, bro. E I mean, even music taste. That's why I don't really fuck with the young generation, bro. I'm not with the young boy shit. Damn. None of this, bro. Y'all just let these fake Carzars, these grape drinks, ruin the music industry, bro. I pay attention to all that. And understand this emotional competence, you know, knowing, knowing when a man is in pain, bro. Trust, bro. And create the paradise, create the marriages, create all that. But quit thinking y'all doing us a favor and just and stick to y'all men, bro. A lot of like stick to your damn men. Stop. Oh, I'm not sexually pleased thinking. Yeah, because they, they call us bulls and mandingos, which. Okay, you acknowledge that I have a powerful, beautiful rod, but I'm not your sex object, bitch. The fuck wrong with y'all? Yeah, I'm not stupid. I'm not. I'm not trying to deal with no M until nonsense, man. I'll spaz out, bro. And this is not out of hatred. This is all. This. This is being real. I'm tired of going outside, seeing refrigerators and damn pogo sticks, bro. And just, and just any goddamn thing. I'm tired of that, man. And then I'm tired of, you know, some of these women who, and let's, like I said, let's say you on, let's say you're genuine. Let's say you're on point. If you're really interested in the Israelite male, bro, like say something, man. But I'm not, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. But one thing about it, man, once once Israelite male wanna clap some doonies, we wanna clap some cheeks, bro. We don't I don't want no damn soggy unbaked chicken. I don't want no damn nothing. That's why I keep that's why I keep myself in shape. Because I'm pretty sure she's not gonna want anything, bro. And I'm naturally an athlete. It's not this is not oh, he's strict and agreed. Ugh. No, man. Come on, man. Come on. It used to be a time where like you can chill with a fine ass woman and like talk about the future. When you can see, when you can see something with her, I don't see myself with an eating my chick. I don't see myself with some beer head Latina chick. They're not even into sports. They're not even spiritual. Like what the fuck we doing here, man? See what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure an Israelite woman, she don't want me with a, with chapped lips and shit. If any damn thing, they treat me like royalty. Hell, my, my own mama said I'm supposed to have 10 women. And if she said, if, if she said, if God said pollution is okay, go for it. I don't got to argue with her and beat her over the goddamn head. That's, that's how spoiled I am. I like delicate, dainty women and being at peace. Not trying to look masculine in front of you other niggas. Women, women, you SYSBM niggas, you BNW old niggas, Queen of Spade niggas, you ex super military niggas, man, fuck all that, bro. We got the best looking women on the earth, and I don't give a damn what you're talking about. When I was talking about those Assyrian women, yes, they made me, you know what I'm saying, lust and shit. Cause they, they, at least they look like something sexually. Y'all motherfuckers ain't even got that. They got straight cokehead Karens and shit. What the fuck the hell we looking at, man? Like, come on, bro. I hardly ever see this shit. Like, come on, man. And, it's, and again, cause y'all gonna say you just cause you an athlete and shit, bro. Come on, bro.
But y'all just seen a couple. Man, hold on. Let me, let me, let me share something else. You compare that to this, bro. And Camila Mendez is not ugly at all. But look how demonic she look, bro. I don't want that shit. Motherfucking Asa Akira. Like, these motherfuckers, bro. Like, 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 what is that, bro? You see this? That's what real brothers want, man. And that's just physically, bro. Like, we, we, understand, we understand people get old and all that. And we understand that. But y'all are, like, super delayed, bro. Y'all are super delayed. But this is what happens when you get caught up in images and high school musical. This, this is what happens when you, every time a brother or sister have a different perspective. I can already see people getting mad. Oh, he's ranting. Oh, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to give a fuck. Bro, why should brothers and sisters that keep themselves up got to struggle? We got to look around and be paranoid and shit. Because we got a bunch of hoes and whoremongers running around. Got a bunch, but a bunch of hypocrite-ass religious people running around. Not even reading the scriptures, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. And no, we don't want your damn daughters. But you scrags. But yeah, I got I to gotta make sure. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I seen a couple eating my chicks. White. Heathen caveman chicks talking shit about Jake, bro. Talking behind our back and shit. Oh, they think we all like them and shit. That's no, that's them suburban black dudes who think they African or whatever, bro. That's y'all. Yeah, it's, it's levels to this, man. Yeah, we got we we got to separate everything, bro. I'm San Antonio, motherfucking Texas. Get them garbage ass women on my face. They got a few cold ones, but the cold ones too afraid to even establish something in the scriptures, bro. If they're an Israelite. See what I'm saying? On top of the trauma. All kinds of stuff, bro. So, no. Y'all are not doing us a goddamn favor with them skinny ass eating my bitches. You're not getting a pass because y'all have. Y'all are growing your booties now and, and looking okay. Again. I don't hate you because of how you look, but y'all have y'all have very ugly spirits, very ugly mindsets, and that type of spirit or energy, I can't smash that. Y'all, you BNWO niggas smashing just pigs and unbaked chicken and shit. You know what I'm saying? And thinking you doing something, but all bread is sweet to a whoremonger, bro. Y'all hate the most how, like I said, you don't have no style, no taste, no nothing. And you have no real sexual energy for real. Y'all just whoremongers, bro. I'm thinking about, I'm going to keep it 100. I love the smell of booty, okay? I ain't talking about Kevin Gates and shit. I am not talking about sodomy. I know you Christians and you Israelites don't want to hear I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm very natural when it comes to women, okay? Israelite women, okay? I, 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 I'm going to wash I'm gonna wash you up. I'm going to study your body because I, I have to learn how to take care of you. I got to learn how to make love to you. I got to learn how to do everything with you. Learn your mind. That's part of being a husband. You blockheads. But you be around you be around too many goddamn men and dudes and penises. So you don't know that. And you worship white bitches. Because that's, that's the only type of women who fucking loves you. And they're easy jump offs. But you whoremonger ass niggas, man. I'm saying we're not the same, bro. Everybody separate, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, if I got to feel this pain and go through all this trauma, and I'm seeing all these damn Edomite men and women on Twitter uh, worshiping our penises, and y'all think I'm getting away with it? No, it's, no, 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 bro. Nah, bro. Y'all don't know the difference The difference between fetish, fetishing or having a sexual preference. Y'all don't understand shit, bro. Straight up, bro. If you, and, I, and like I said, if y'all was going to give us, if y'all was going to give, if y'all were going to give godly brothers some concubines, y'all give me a prime... This is on some chrono shit, but give me a prime Lisa Ann like in her 40, 30s. And I'm talking about, and I'm talking about how she's built and how she look. I think she a Jake, but most eating most white bitches not don't look like that. And that's just on that's that's just on a biblical tip. But I really don't like my brother Elijah said, bro. When it comes to love and intimacy, I don't vibe with y'all like that, bro. Now if it's genuine, it's genuine. But no, man. So for you parents who wasted our time, you teachers, all and all you outsiders, man, who don't understand, this is not for you. Quit wasting our time. But that's just to clear the air. Y'all are not the standard of beauty, and I hate y'all spirit, bro. So if you misconstrue that, then oh well. But anyways, that was part two. Um, YouTube could be insensitive. <sighs>
Peace and blessings and shalom, bro.